All right, ladies and gents, I have never done drywalling in my life. Not even a single second. Zero ounces, zero pounds, zero liters of experience. Any measurable amount of anything, I have zero experience in it. So today is gonna be especially exciting because we're learning it together. The only real like training or teaching or literally anything as far as drywalling I have learned has been through YouTube. So we're gonna try it out. And uh, I seem to get everything here at Home Depot. We're just kind of gathering materials. I think we're pretty set. For a couple days, I was debating borrowing a friend's truck. We're gonna swap cars to haul drywall, but Home Depot does $79 delivery. So being a no brainer, that is now being delivered tomorrow. I don't know exactly what time, so that's gonna kind of determine my weekend plan. I wanna get a majority of this done tomorrow. Hopefully it's earlier in the day, but obviously being in no control of that. I will just kind of sit back and watch it happen. But like I said, for the time being, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got and hopefully it'll make our job a lot easier. Taping knife and drywall screws. I think there's like 200 and, oh, 196. Hopefully that's enough. Some joint tape, drywall sander, and this little guy for the mud. Ended up getting a 48 inch level, which was nice because it's only like 20 bucks. Don't need a super heavy duty one, mostly something to have a straight line and mark where my studs are. And then as far as the electrical, we're just adding these. This one is gonna go up here to replace this. And then these are gonna go in here. Most of this is really prepped and ready to go. I'm going to do my best to take this off, obviously, because I don't want it there. And then little things like shaving this down, cause it's like stuck back there. If you guys watched the last video, this big unit will not move. And I don't know the best way to take this off besides trying to just muscle it and snap it. So might have to try that. But this section over here is hopefully gonna be pretty easy, pretty uniform, just one corner, not doing anything above this area, but section down here and then up to this corner all the way across. And then this is unique. It's like this big metal beam that's here. Um, so I'm thinking the drywall, I'm gonna just go right up below here and then up there hopefully it looks good i think it will and then cutting around these will be tricky i got some comments saying this isn't structural and i don't have to worry about it i, I really don't know i want to do it all right before i do it obviously because i don't want to have to redo it it's gonna suck maybe i'll paint it black whatever we're all painted the same color as the walls which is something we should talk about as well because once this is up um that's really the next step a lot of people do like harbor gray which i think sherwin williams stopped making but i want to have like a gray wall and as much as it sounds silly like gray flooring um with some black accents with the tiles we're gonna do panel flooring i'm getting way ahead of myself that's completely separate but as far as like the color theme in here we're gonna make it all look nice yeah drywall is pretty much ready to go so we're just waiting for the delivery tomorrow. I'll update you guys when it gets here. All right, so this right here is that outlet that's down there that we don't we don't need that. Black goes to brass and white goes to silver. So Those are different colors? Yeah. Colorblind? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, are you really? <laughs> yeah. The ones on the right are silver. Yeah. Hey, you're good then. You have that colorblind. Okay, well. summers of landscaping through college and I helped build a deck and that's about the extent of my construction skills we're gonna be 100% learning this together so today we're just gonna hang the drywall hopefully we'll get as far as we possibly can um, I still need to like take off a couple bits and pieces but I'm definitely gonna do it wrong and learn but we're ready it's a big day ladies and gents out to some music for a bit but made some progress <sighs> this spot the floor dips down a bit so just kind of making it all level this is all gonna be covered I'm doing like a bottom trim um, once I get flooring in here as well so kind of doing this with that in mind we hit the wide angle we can kind of see the progress and walls starting to look like walls which is really cool 
this side kind of like the insulation i'm just doing these big sections at a time so i don't have to like cut them all up I'm piling these scraps um, that i know i'm gonna have to use like in these areas these areas it's like one o'clock right now i started a couple hours ago these shelving units come off so i'm just gonna take these off and make them as large as I can. Uh, so far so good though. I'm just gonna keep on cranking. I really, really, really hope I have enough. I got 12 sheets. If I have to get another, it's gonna be just super annoying. And we're, let's see, we've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are five left. Oh boy. I'll just keep on cranking and keep you updated though. These are tricky, like I said, cause of this little bar. This is not really exactly how you're supposed to do drywall i'll be honest with you this is like again my first time learning it and uh garage so i'm not doing a house or anything um so gonna have to float some of these a little bit more than you'd like to um typically do it i know you're supposed to end the joints on a stud but i'm just using material as we're going along i'm calling this uh done <laughs> i know for a fact this is kind of blotched together, but I'll be able to level it out with the trowel and some mud taping. This is all, again, DIY. So it's not a tutorial, it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna make it look as perfect as I can. Um, tape in the corner, everything. I'm gonna clean up right now just to have like a fresh space for the next project, which is mudding and taping. Um, there's just a lot of drywall and debris and well, probably screws on the ground. So don't want to mess with all that. I'm going to clean up, take the next hour or so to get this all tidy before the sun goes down. And uh, tomorrow is going to be like 58, 60, 62. going to get the mudding started tomorrow because I am absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I did this all by myself today and I don't even know. I think it's like 530. I'll take it looks pretty decent. It's starting to come together. Like these start to look like walls now, which is cool. I really like how this area is looking. Obviously that we'll make as, as good as we can, but. I'm gonna split these up into separate videos. That's gonna conclude this one. If you guys wanna learn drywalling, don't don't watch this video, watch some instructional tutorials that are uh, meant for that. I'm sure you guys can tell by the sound of my voice, but I am beat. I am absolutely tired. If you guys wanna stick around, watch the mudding and taping and then sanding, painting, hit subscribe. We're almost at 25,000 subscribers. Hopefully by the time we're done with the garage, we'll be at that goal. That'd be super cool. If you guys would hit the like button for the algorithm, it truly helps out, pushes it to further audience. Um, I always mostly do car stuff on the channel with the S4, but the home renovation projects have just kind of been taken over, which is fun. That'll wrap up the video, ladies and gents. We'll see ya.